Hi. I thought I'd continue with this. This is between me and a Muslim who is excellent at diversion and ignoring the question. I mean, he's excellent. Very good at it. And very good at deflection. His takia, you know, line for all that is superb. So anyway, I have a lot of difficulty. Right now, we're, I'm trying to, we're talking about jizya attacks. And about jizya attacks, I'll tell you about jizya attacks. Jizya attacks is what a non-Muslim is forced to pay under the threat of death and it can be as much as 85% of one's earnings, like it is uh, uh, under ISIS to force the, the non-Muslims of Iraq and Syria. If they don't pay 85% of their earnings in jizya attacks, they're killed. So, and of course, this Muslim's trying to say that uh, jizya tax is, you know, not that hard on them and stuff like that. And it's just like, it's just like zakat tax, what a Muslim is forced to pay. And I ask him, well, where is it that, it, where is it in the Quran or Hadith that zakat tax, zakat, 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 he calls it zakat, but it's zakat. Where is it uh, that it is just the same or lower than jizya tax? And do you think he ever answers me? No. So anyway, we're talking about jizya tax right now. All right, I'll continue here. And the fight between Muslims and pagan, and pagan Meccans was not about jizya. The fight started before Jizya even existed. Really? Well, what was it that would lead to be, lead to forcing non-Muslims to pay Jizya tax and come up with Quran 929? Quran 929 is what uh, says, tells Muslims to fight uh, non-Muslims until they become Muslim or pay the Jizya tax as willing submission and feel themselves subdued. They're supposed to kill non-Muslims until the non-Muslim says, okay, I'll play Jizya tax. The Muslims were abused, tortured, and exiled. Then after, take, then after taking back what they stole in the caver, ca caravan. Really, where in the Quran does it say that? Or even in the Hadith? You know, scripture or saying, please. That's when Mecca official went to war against the Muslims and Medina. Scripture from the Quran are saying from the Hadith that shows that the Meccans went to war against Muslims rather than the other way around first, please. Uh, oh, he gives a long thing about... Uh, okay, he's talking a lot here. I'll just let him talk here. Jezza is dealt with the... You know, did I ever respond to this? I didn't. Okay, well, he's going to get his say here. Oh, well. All right. I'll let him talk here. Jesse is dealt with the letters of the community. You could give however much you want to give to the letters to in the community. Oh, I bet you could. Just make sure that it's not... It, just make sure it's... Uh, no, you can't. He's, where does it say that? <laughs> <laughs> you better is what comes down to it or you're killed especially after sacred months are passed that's Quran 9.5 I'll continue reading here the letters in the community collects the money minority groups within the country like Jews and Christians etc the Jesu that was collected by the community letters was only spent on their communities while Zakah could be used on anyone only if they're Muslim uh, the Jesuit tax can't be used for Muslims. It's only used on those certain minority groups like the Christian community and the Jewish community. Right. It's forcing Jews, of course, Quran, Quran 929. It's forcing it on the Jews and Christians, the people of the book. It says, fight them, even if they are people of the book, until they feel themselves subdued and pay the Jesuit with the Jesuit tax with willing submission. And so... Yeah, I guess that's because those who aren't Christians to Jews are to be killed. So even zakat attack doesn't save them. Z zakat, on the other, could could be used to improve the living conditions and the communities of non-Muslims, while jizya couldn't be used for Muslims. Yeah, not oh, yeah. They're going to use that money to improve the conditions of non-Muslims. I don't think so. This is the key line for all. I'll continue here. You mentioned the Jews not wanting to pay taxes. The Jews don't live in Mecca. They don't, yeah, well, no one lives in Mecca except Muslims. <laughs> they live in Medina. And the verse you sent me wasn't referring to any Jews in Medina. It was referring to the pagan Meccans. You need to read the Tasvir so that 
so this could make sense. So this could better make sense. The treachery was doing, the treachery was, was they, the treachery was doing was they were rebelling against the treaty they made. Oh yeah, see, of course there's Quran 9-1 which allows Muslims to break treaty. So again, blaming the victim here. Okay. Yeah, that they, they, that they made. Uh, yeah. uh, the Muslims were promised refuge in Medina. And the Muslims were promised that if they went to war with the Mecca, with the Mecca, with Mecca, they'd be, they would be support them by the Muslims would support the Jews. They broke the verbal agreement and they rebelled against the Muslims. And they tried to do planned attack and ambush the Muslims from both sides by the Meccans and Jews. Yeah, where's the uh, uh, hadith that says that? You know, he's just, oh well, again, blaming the victim. The verse 929 was referring to after the Meccan conquest and the, and the, and the tax was established first in Mecca. The verse was referring to after the conquest months later. Maybe so. This meanest uh, persecution, this this meanest persecution was meted out to the most vulnerable members of the Muslim uh, faithful. Professor Daniel C. Pa Patterson writes, quote, "There are many stories of imprisonment, treaty starvation, and thirst, and and perhaps worst of all, a believers stalked out on the ground under a scorching heat." of the Arabian sun until they could be re re induced to repudiate their faith. Oh, right. Well, where is, uh, yeah, where is the hadith that says that? Yeah. <laughs> Slaves are particularly vulnerable. The, uh, uh, okay, well, anyway, he's trying to say basically that uh, the Muslims were attacked and blah, blah, blah. And that's why it's okay to kill Christians and Jews in our time with that Quran 929 thing. I guess that's what it comes down to it. All right. I, and I say this, I say this. Uh, what if things were reversed and Muslims were forced to pay a high tax under the threat of death until they said, all it is more than one. I bear witness that there is no God but Mickey Mouse and Goofy is his messenger. And instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day, you have to bow down to Disneyland. Would you have a problem with that? Do you think he's going to answer me there? No. I'm guessing you didn't read my comment at all. Oh, I read it. You tried to get me to believe Quran 929 was historic. And only for that time, as if it was the, if it was the violence commanded of God for Israelis to do in the Torah. In other words, you tried to get me to believe Quran 929 is now obsolete and will never be implemented when Sharia is imposed. But it is implemented under ISIS. And I bet it's implemented whenever Muslims become strong in number. But if it is to be implemented when Muslims become strong in number, well, again, what if things were reversed and Muslims were forced to pay a high tax under the threat of death until they said, All is more than one. I bear witness that there is no God but the Mickey Mouse and Goofy is his messenger. And instead of, and bowing, to, instead of bowing to Mecca five times a day with your patootie in the air looking like you want gay sex, you have to bow down to Disneyland. Would you have a problem with that? Do you think he ever answers me? No. Where in Quran... Oh... By the way, where in Quran 929 does it say such a tax accumulation is on the Muslims as well? <laughs> it doesn't. By the way, I'd rather pay zakat tax than jizya, for jizya is usually way higher than when a Muslim is forced to pay in zakat tax. Uh, Quran 929 applied for Muslims too. Where do you get that in the Quran? Uh... And, and and it applies to people in the Muslim state. Again, where do you have Muslims paying the high jizya as well as Quran 929? <laughs> you think <laughs> he's doing takia lying? No. <laughs> Back then he said that jizya is not for the Muslim to pay, so he's just contradicting himself here. Oh well. 
This also applies to the Muslims who do not pay their zakat. Oh, oh, I can imagine that is true. Yeah, Abu Bakr fought against the Muslims who didn't pay zakat. Oh, I'm sure he did. Because if you don't pay zakat, that means you're not a Muslim. It means you're out of Islam. And Muhammad said, he who changes his religion, Islam, kill him. Uh, Muslims didn't force anyone to, to pay quote, high taxes. False. For the only time. Yeah, false. For the only thing that ends Muslim attack on pagans in Quran 9, 1 through 5, is when they pay the tax. They repent and pay the tax. And in Quran 9.29, the only thing that ends Muslim attacks on Jews and Christians and killing Jews and Christians is when they pay the tax and feel themselves to do. So, you have said something that is not true. You said something that's not true there. Quote, quote, I recommend to him to abide by the rules and regulations concerning the demi protectis of Allah and his apostle to fulfill their contracts completely and fight for them and not to tax overburden them beyond their capabilities. That's volume 5, book 57, number 50. Kind of like a gangster saying, Hey, hey, I like your car. You pay me money and I'll see that nothing bad happens to your car, okay? You don't have a problem with that, I see. How, how come? It was a lot smaller of tax that which they used to pay. So? So? Again, what if things were reversed and Muslims were forced to uh, pay a high tax under the threat of death until they said, Allah is more than one. I bear witness that there is no God but Mickey Mouse and Goofy is his messenger. And instead of bowing down five times a day to Dis to, to times a day to, to Mecca, you have to bow down to Disneyland. Would you have a problem with that? Uh, I think... Yeah, I think I'll stop it here. Yeah, bye. Let's see here. Stop it.